Like, boy, I had, uh, but we was out here swagging, boy. Oh, I might show up on this tape, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, hey, 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 the green tape. The green tape. Yeah, it's green tape. What? Spat up. We was live. Boy, I, I feel like they couldn't do nothing. I'm full back. I'm like, bro, okay, you got to yeah, okay. see me, dog. I ain't make the play, though. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Hey, I'm out here. Hey, he you pick the pussy, though, bro. He did. Hey, try you, bro. Heck, dog, bro. You can't even let the bar track, stance, bro. bro. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I, that's you see? My sophomore year, I had that. Yeah, they just switched my, they just switched my up here. See, but look, yeah. it, was, it was like letting stay in the defense, flat back, got the fit, flat. He did a little yeah. extra. A trip. I, I mean, yeah, you didn't do nothing wrong by playing it how, you know, how you was coached to play. Yeah. I mean, because. I used to, I'm not saying when I saw you, I yeah. watched you learn how to play just like you. Yeah. See, the only only thing we see Zach in here are not as peasy. Yeah, them the only two people play with that pacifier mouthpiece. I'm gonna go, bro. That's what I got. I got. You, that's a swag, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I couldn't. I couldn't play. That's because you can't talk. I, without you it. can't talk. That's, it'll be just. I mean, just keep it attached. Just do like that. See, get you a shape too. They ran this play, bro, like like six times, bro. I never. And they just they would check to it too. Yeah. Soon we had the corner down, bro. They checked to it, cause it's they got everybody coming. They got yeah. the, the quarterback was a runner. He was climbing. Yeah. So he used to run the ball a lot. And bro, they just check to it and it'd be like a toss. Mm -hmm. See, but we had Absolutely. bro. This was this is about the the most keys we had going into a game because guys, got guy, guys put every everything they had into this game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, guy, if you read something, you just went because it was the last game. Yeah. We not playing for something. Yeah. They was. It's probably this felt like a ball game though because it was like half green. It was like sixty percent green, six forty percent purple. Bro. Yeah. So it was, it was the most field that I've seen. Hey, I'm man coverage right here, boy. Receiver. Let's see. Yeah. What you saying? Okay. What you saying? <laughs> man, he ran a, a dummy route. For That's a, fine. Uh, I don't care. For a Cut lot. Plus. <laughs> it is, though. That was good. I mean, that was good. That was a good read. That's all he did, yeah, that's bro. Good read. He hit. <laughs> Hey, Peasy ball, hey, bro. 66, you know that SARS. Uh, SARS 66. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, he does SARS. Yeah. Hey. So I just one of the hardest working dudes I had in the Yeah, he did, bro. Bro, they had, bro. You know, by the time he left, he was like 30, bro. I was like, dang. Uh, no lie. Bro. Sarge, Sarge was grown when he got here. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. He, got, he came here, he was, he was 20, he was like, what, 26? <laughs> oh, okay. I see that. <laughs> Hold on to him, baby. I thought I was pretty messed up, man, boy. That's crazy looking at you, bro, now. And then watching you, like, your senior year. Yeah. That defense. Man, not even just that team was something like I've never seen before, man. Everybody was accountable. Yeah. So you look at the whole starting lineup on the 2013 defense, man. We talk about it to this day in the locker room. We go yeah. back. The few of us that still here, yeah. we look at it, man. We like every we, every single position, man. Mm -hmm. Held it down. Everybody was accountable, yeah, bro. When I left, I knew y'all was gonna be special. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was something you feel me? I'm yeah. like, I'm like, Zach. He played as a freshman. This man came early. In the summertime, he ain't even. I like the only person who did that. But since him, before that was me. I came in the summertime too, and I'm like, damn, like, and all these big schools. That's what they doing. Mm -hmm. All these young dudes getting here in the summertime, and they grinding with all these old cats. Yeah. And that's how you learn. I mean, I'm like, I did it. Zach did it. You don't hear a lot of cats like that doing that here. Yeah. But I mean, if you start getting more cats to come do that, then you see start yeah. Yeah. stuff start to build, and that's that's, that's where I feel like we need to go as a yeah. as a university, as an athletic program. Yeah. We start getting that stuff with these kids coming in early, yeah. Yeah. and bonding yeah. with guys, older guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll understand it's a real camaraderie you gotta have to play this game. Yeah. Like you don't trust this person, you you just playing. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, feel yeah. me? You just be like, well, hell, he may not have it, so I'm gonna play his job and mine. Yeah. yeah. But you know, y'all had that bond, mm -hmm. dude. You don't wear that one sleeve no more, huh? I wore it a couple times. Uh, I got that from him too. Y'all wore it a couple times this year. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it back though. I'm bringing it back this year. It's coming back. Wow, y'all got oil. Y'all oiled up. <laughs> But if you, you remember though, Fred, like she mm, practice, we okay. used to whoop the offense in uh, yeah. goal line, bro. Okay. And I was glad we we did we used to do goal line because yeah. like, it yeah, it put you in that situation. It's real competitive, like man, we ain't letting them dudes in. Yeah. Dude, what is it? Bro, this is, hey, uh, this might be the loudest energy it might have ever been, bro. Ooh. I take the clean up. Appreciate yeah. that, Lee. Appreciate that, Lee. I 
too. They got. Yeah, they they do. They had a flag and they still ran the same play. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Man, I could have. Hey. Uh, oh, he's, oh, he dipped on, he dipped a dip on me in a minute. Sorry, I dislocated his shoulder or something on this fight, didn't he? And still chasing him. Yeah. Why? Well, Watch this. <laughs> ah! Tweet him up, Lee. Yeah. yeah, that was it. What is the process like? I know y'all undrafted free agent, so what is what is that whole process like? Man, it's mud. Yeah, it's real, it's real slow. Because a lot of people are expecting to hear like calls from teams and stuff for like workouts. I didn't have any workouts in the team. I just did pro day, and that was it. And I didn't, you know, I didn't hear any, you know, calls from nobody until it was getting close to draft time. So just really teams you have a pro day though. I had a lot. Deep. <laughs> yeah, it was deep. Like you know what I'm saying. So I was in a forced situation, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be weird, and it's gonna be kind of stressful because it's gonna be the first time you gonna. Question yourself, am I ever gonna play again? Man, that's the main thing. That hurts. Yeah. <laughs> because you think about it, high school, you are you was already signed. You knew, you're like, okay, I'm going, I'm going North Texas in the fall. You know, of after this, it was like, man, am I gonna play again? Like, is this it? Did I play my last game? And then those they, they're they gonna pop, that's gonna pop up in your head. That's those gonna be the questions that's gonna come to you, man. But I had all them questions. Like when I the last time I played, we lost to K State. Game we should have won. Should have won it. And after that, that my whole thing was like, all right, I'm trained for pro day. Pro day came. I got one call on draft day. Oh, the day before draft day, the Jaguars called and asked if this was my number. I'm like, yeah, I bet I got. I, I got a call. <laughs> I, was, I, was hyped. I was hyped. I was hyped. I was like, man, I must be on their radar. They called yeah. but had their number. <laughs> man, I ain't hear from nobody, bro, until December of that year. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? The Browns called me and I thought they was playing on my phone. Because <laughs> this was uh, during all that stuff. We, we had some stuff going on in, in Cleveland and you know, the Penn State stuff, man. Yeah. And they called and I'm like, man, get off my phone playing. Yeah. I'm at work. Yeah. And I had I had hung up. My agent called me. He's like, hey, man, the Browns called you. I'm going to call this man <laughs> back. <laughs> and, and pick that phone up. And so, I mean, I had worked out, but I was like, man, I was like, I'm being on some beach body type stuff. You feel me? I'm just trying to stay healthy, yeah. not not trying to get big or nothing like that. And I stayed ready, and it was like, bro, you get one shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when you get signed automatic or you get drafted, bro, you get one shot. If you ain't that, we're going to find somebody else who is ready. And I happen to be ready, and they signed me to the practice squad. And after that, bro, it's been... Me ever since. It just focus on becoming the best player you can be. Yeah. Just having your mind right, and you know, I mean, the good thing for you is you already graduated and everything, so you know you could really just put all your focus towards that oh, and yeah. not worried about that, man. Everything else, man, you put your best foot forward. You you work your butt off every single day, man. You can walk away no matter what the situation is, and that I feel like that's just in life in general. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Life always gonna throw you curveball. You never know what can happen. But as long as you, you know, stay prayed up, work hard, put your best foot forward, you can, you can move on, man. Who mentored you the most when you got to the league? Dequell Jackson. He was a guy going into his seventh year, and he had just came off two uh, pec injuries. Mm -hmm. So he was going into his contract year, he tore one pec, and he was going to another contract year. They had re-signed him back, he tore the other one. Mm -hmm. and I was like, man, like, bro, like, how do you, how do you do it? He was like, man, you just keep pushing. And just from a young guy coming in, like, that's all I knew. Like, coming in North Texas, I mean, I didn't get you no know, bowl win. Like <laughs> you feel me? All, all I knew was push. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had guys that didn't want to practice. Yeah. You know, I mean, it wasn't a lot, but you got some people like, man, I just don't feel like it. You know. We, we weren't winning, and the, the morale just goes down. But hell, I was always that dude. Like, bro, we get to practice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, when 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 you done and you graduated, you know you might not get to play this no more. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, we didn't have a lot of guys going to the league from North Texas. I was like, bro, I can grind. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Next day, I know we playing in the murals. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, it's like I'm. I'm finna grind like like today was my last day. And so I've been doing that, bro, since I got into the league. For me, it was a dude named Albert McClellan. 
he been in for like six years. A and quality dude. Yeah, real good dude. Just took me underneath his wing because he was an undrafted free agent as well, it's just like me. And I remember the first thing he told me, he was like, man, they watching everything you do, not just on the field, off the field. He was like, as undrafted free agent, you the first one in, you the, you the last one in the door, first one out. Mm -hmm. So uh, you cannot be really, you could really not be doing too much wrong, you know what I'm saying? But since you're an undrafted free agent, it's going to be like the microscope is on you just that much more. And, you know, if they can get rid of you, you're, you're expendable. So yeah, sure you're, you'll be gone. Yeah, exactly. So and just him being an undrafted free agent, just him telling me that and constantly telling me that because it's – you always, like me and Craig, we always going to have that stigma, like we're undrafted. You know what I'm saying? That's never going to leave you. So, never. so, you know, teams and people look at that, you're going to always have that, you know, short lease. So you always going to have to ball out oh. ten times more than, yeah. you know, the, the person that got drafted at your position. So, But it, I ain't going to lie, it start here, though, when you're in college. I mean, you got to look at, uh, for one, you got to be, you got to act like you're the best player on your team. And then once you're the best player on your team, then it's like, all right, well, hell, now it's the country. Cause that's your competition. It's like, what's going to set you apart? So when you play them big games or you're playing, uh, you know, the big teams or whatever, I don't, who do y'all play this year? That's Florida. So y'all play yeah. a team like Florida. You playing against top-tier talent. You might have two of them guys be in the first round. Yeah. You might have mm -hmm. six, seven of them guys get drafted. If you play well, well, hell, now your name starts floating across. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got all these scouts going to these games, agents going to these games to watch these kids in Florida. Man, this kid from North Texas, he made a lot of plays. Let me just keep looking at him. You know what I'm saying? They may watch you for two, three more games just to check you out. Yeah. But that's that's all you can ask for is a checkout. Yeah. Nah, but man, it's a hey, game, fun, bro. But I always remember, bro, it's a kid's game. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just grown men get the chance to play it. Yeah. So, I mean, if you always look at it like that, I mean, that's the purest level. Little kids learning what to do, you always learning. You never, you never know everything going on. You might know a little more than somebody. But, I mean, just always keep your book open, bro. Yeah, man. Y'all got me excited, man. Y'all got me excited. Come back, bro.